In this video, we're going to talk about how to, we can configure security policies using user ID. Now, in a prior video, we went ahead and we set up user ID in our environment. And this is where we left off. Basically, we generated some traffic going out to the internet and we saw that the source user is included. Now that I have user ID information, now I can start using it in my policies. Before I jump right into editing my policies, I want to change a little bit about the, about the configuration I had for user ID. So I'm going to come up to device. And again, on the left hand side, user identification. And I want to change my group mapping settings. So that's this sub tab over here. So I currently have a profile here and under the group include list, I have just one group, which is just the domain users. What I want to do is I want to actually add more groups. Right now, I only have that one group and therefore I can only specify one group, but I want to be able to specify additional groups in my environment. So I'm going to go ahead and branch this open and look at my groups here. Um, as an example, let's choose DNS admins, domain admins, and lab users, sure. So we're just going to have those four that we're pulling from and say OK. This will make more sense as we go into it. Uh, commit it just to be sure. I don't believe that's necessary. Uh, but the reason for that is because later I'm going to reference those groups and only those groups that I've included in the mappings will be available for me to reference. All right, so now we go to our policies. And now we want to start modifying our policies. So currently we have an egress outside policy. Let's go ahead and clone that one. And I will move this up. And let's say that I want this to be um, egress outside lab users. So I want to customize the policy specifically for lab users. Uh, we can see exist currently source inside, destination outside, application, service, actions, and so on. I'm going to come back to the user tab here. And I want to change, uh, instead of currently any source user, I want to add in the lab users. So I'll say add. And we can see here in my list is the groups that I had included. So if I wanted to start doing something with lab users, I will add them. And now I can customize the rest of my policy, such as changing the applications, changing the URL categories, or even setting the action to disable, to deny. So here I'm able to then look through user ID and see who exactly is logged into the machine. I'm, in this policy, I'm specifying that if somebody is a lab user or a member of the lab users group, the action that they're going to receive is a deny action. So I say OK and commit. So very short and sweet, but by enabling user ID, we can now put those policies into our, uh, put those configurations into our security policies to be able to manipulate and manage the type of traffic happening in our environment.